This is Aaron Johnson. And today I'm going to do is tell scary stories what I have. That applies to things I remember since childhood. And that may range from that power outage that's brief. And maybe in some cases that kind of a of a power outage at the another building and maybe a scary story that can literally spook you when things get lit up by some other lights. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified of any new videos what I create in the future. Here we go. The brief power outage. It was a time when I was minding my own business, just having some fun and just hanging out with my cousin who was a babysitter. But I won't divulge his name, so... Um, I was just having some fun with my babysitter who likes me. And it was a time when I was around age 2, 3, or 4, but I don't remember which age is which. Well, the stereo system was there. Luckily, I know how to work it. Suddenly, the TV set just went off, and all the lights went off. So, what I just did, I went right to the stereo system, tried to turn it on, but it did turn on more I expected, and my cousin said, it's broken. So, me out here trying to find ways to, um, get this to turn on, but me decided to wait and do other things. Until... The lights came back on, and my cousin said, yay, yay, lights are back on. However, it's just a brief power outage. Now, what we're going to do is go right into another type of what, what I just remembered. However, it takes place in my dream. However, me right there just emerged from the subway somehow. But I heard my scream. My name. But a fairy's trying to keep her calm. But me almost made it to the apartment. Until I reached that living room right next to my mother's room. But a fairy right there prevented her from doing a smack. Until me right there. A space for good. But what I just discovered there was a tape recorder right there where I have set earlier. And when I pressed that play button, the music played. And that fairy used the rest of her magic, but she's invisible. However, That led me to a question. How the world I've emerged from the subway? Well, it could be the exits what I'm taking. But in a dream world, they install platform screen doors. Platform screen doors play an important role in our subway systems. In some other countries. One, reduces noise. It also eliminates cost of engineers driving the trains. Two, prevent suicide. Three, enables trains to have access to tunnels with their peace of mind. And most importantly, 
better for safety. However, there is another scary story what I have, but it doesn't take place in my dream. But it takes place at the another building in Brooklyn. And it takes place in 1998 when a breaker has tripped, causing a kitchen to lose power for a light refrigerator and microwave oven. When you drop oil lights, some people are streaked, but me right there has experienced that problem too. But what I saw right there, it could be a ghost right there still there. Maybe the landlord didn't pay attention to the haunting of his building in 700 Block of Mill Avenue. Maybe people were too lazy to have it be checked out. Hey, that's not the way how it goes. Well, because here's the following. If you don't check your home for hauntings, consequences are computers may malfunction, VCR may malfunction, eyes refrigerator may move, and of course things that can be unintentional. You have items in your pocket, but not there. Although, the ghosts right there for long ago don't know any better and don't say you know better because you want to say that because that may offend them and that may have serious consequences. However, it is kind of scary, but here's the next one. It takes place. Right on New York City subway train while well, me and my mom was on it. Well, the train was just zooming along tracks just fine. And when a train just stopped at the platform, somehow the lights went off. Hey, there's a one while lights went out. Maybe it must have lost power. Or maybe it could be a conspiracy within the subway system itself with a power issue. Or in some cases, there may be something gone wrong with a dirt rail. I mean, there's something wrong with a dirt rail. And a power supply. Or a breaker has stripped. Well, it was in the dark. But, because us on the train, the lights from the platform still shine through. If it didn't have windows, Everybody will be so scared. Fact. Subway rope trains. <clears throat> excuse me. Fact. Subway rope trains don't have windows that allows passengers to see right through. But they're only on doors and driver compartments. And those are older obsolete work cars. What I just remembered. Those orange and black cars. Now, it's time for another scary story. And this time, it takes place at the nerve building where I was on foster care. My former foster parents long ago were in his apartment. And they were just my own business doing things we were doing, but somehow... They lost all the power. 
So they had to go to the breaker box in the dark and reset the power. They were doing laundry and in one of the rooms right there I heard the air conditioning running and it didn't turn on itself. They just turned on to check to see the power is a okay. So, it's just another minor power outage. However, power outages do occur. doesn't mean well hold on oh sorry but I was just checking the duration of recording anyway it's just the buy power outages right there because it does occur power trips do occur But now it's time to go to the next scary story where I have. However, it takes place during times when I was just my own business watching a movie in my mother's room. However, it didn't start. But it starts off with this. When me and my mom just came right back to this apartment, opened the door, it was so dark. But it's supposed to be dark when lights are off. And you know, I can barely see in this apartment. Almost like you're going to a tunnel. However, before I proceed to watch a movie, where I just discovered the rooms are dark, but the street I still shine through. Fast forward, I decided to watch a movie, and be right there, discover a glimpse of this mysterious slot, a mysterious doorway. And the mysterious sounds. But there's nothing to worry about. But that's just a glimpse that can be spoofed. However, there's the another type of a scary story I have. It takes place in my dream. Wow. Beautiful, look at these devices. Hey, I gotta take these home with me. Well, it's a bottom. Or being donated. So, be right there to discover both of these units. They're like freezes of some sort, but I remember what they look like. They're like horizontal boxes right there. And, it has a door somewhere. And, as I Feel around to make sure that you're right there, maybe active or not, I feel. But, as I felt the grating at the bottom right, I felt heat. That's where the refrigerant system or refrigeration system runs. It has been running since a minute ago, but as I went to another one, I felt heat coming out of that one, but that was a different grate, and the fan is active. However, as I peer into the grate, there was a glass portion, but was a glass portion used to, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Was the glass portion used to reflect the heat? Or slow down the air current? But as I peer right through the glass, I see the master grate or master venting. But each called a grill or grate. It's like a safety grill. But not that type of grill that you cook food on. The grill like the grating. That I was able to go through. So that's when. I discovered. This machine may be plugged in. Over my batteries. A battery operated freezer. Wow. There must have been a head time in a dream world. So, now it's time for another scary story. And it takes place in the Bronx. And it was a time when I was about to turn three in the year 1994. So, I was still on the table when evening. Just enjoy my time like normal. Until they must have set something up on the table. What are they going to do? Surprise me? Well, looks like they're going to do is let's see. They're trying to set it up. Looks like they got some that's brown. And looks like they put three things on it. Pink, blue, and green. And looks like they're about to light it up. And looks like they turn off the lights. And looks like they see how bright to me. And as I took a look closer, what well, I discovered. I could see the rings around light on that brown thing. But it's actually a cake. It must have lit like a lamp. And then we turn lights back on, it looks like the, 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 the three type of these things right there have their lights turned off. And. Wow! That's like it scared me. But that leads me to a question. Why did I record all those glimpses like these? Or illusions like these when I was a little boy? Well, that could be a complicated question. Although, I must have a hidden power where I just explored. However, it was all scary, but it was not quite scary. Well, it's just a glimpse. And it was just me was there right there, had a good time. So, which of the scary stories were I told that literally spoke to you? Please let me know at the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I do have a link at the description box, so I can. Support my channel by making a donation via PayPal and also have a Facebook uh, profile and also have my own website. And um, thanks for coming to my channel and thanks for subscribing. And 
This is Aaron Johnson, so I'll see you next time.